Tampa's Arian Knighton hopes to make history on the track in Tokyo and bring home gold. Now the track star is just 17 years old and is heading into his senior year at Hillsborough High School. Eight on your side's Christine McClarty joins us live at the school where she's speaking with coaches who have helped train him over the years. Good morning. Hey, good morning. The countdown is on. In less than two hours, Arion Knighton runs the 200 meter semifinals. He's a senior here at Hillsboro High, home of the Big Red. Both his coaches say he's a joy to be around on and off the field. Oh, he's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, he's as fast as he is on the field, he's got to have ADHD because a, a two and a half hour practice would. He'd come up to me in the middle of practice, put his arm around me, and said, you like to fish? I'm like, get away from me, Arian. We're in the middle of football practice. So he's a lovable kid. Now I say both his coaches because he plays football and does track and field. Now Knighton has headed into his senior year here at Hillsborough High and recently signed to go pro with Adidas. The high school's track coach and assistant football coach Joe Sipp says he saw Knighton's talent on the football field his freshman year. But he says when he first asked the team to run, he was opposed. Coach Sipp says when he didn't show for the first day of track practice, he told the team he had to run. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Three years later, and now he's an Olympian. Interestingly enough, Coach Sip says the COVID pandemic actually helped the team get better at his sport because for six months, Knighton lived with him and his family, including his son, who's also a senior here at the school, and the boys would do schoolwork by day and train by night. Coach Sip says watching this young man thrive fills his heart with joy. You don't find too many people in this world that can say they've coached an Olympic athlete. And uh, I mean, I'm just thrilled and I'm I'm wishing him the best. And uh, uh, I hope he goes out there and and, and, uh, and makes us proud. I'm, I'm already proud of him, but I just hope he goes out there and and uh, wins a wins a medal uh, at his first Olympics. I, I, I'd be ecstatic. Semifinals for the 200 meter run begin at 750 this morning and if he makes it through to the finals that race is tomorrow morning reporting live in Tampa Christine McClarty eight on your side. Oh, we certainly cannot wait to watch him race. He is so fast and so young yes. and accomplishing so much but we're all so proud of him. Thank you so much Christine for that live report.